this is gonna blow your mind, because the moon, that glowing orb we see every night, might just be the next big thing everyone fights over. Did you know the moon could actually spark the next major world dispute? It's not just science fiction, real governments are already eyeing it as the next frontier. But here's the twist, planting a flag up there doesn't mean you own any part of it. No country can just claim the moon by showing up. So, who does it really belong to? Back in 1967, dozens of countries signed the Outer Space Treaty. It boldly declared that space is the property of all humanity, meaning no nation can claim the moon, or any celestial body, as their own territory. Sounds fair, right? The idea was to keep space peaceful, and free for exploration by everyone. Well, here's where it gets tricky. The treaty never really explained who gets to own moon rocks, or who has the right to mine its resources. There's a huge gray area, when it comes to extracting valuable stuff from the moon. Now countries like the US, China, and Russia all have their own interpretations and ambitions about what's allowed up there. Each is developing its own plans for lunar missions and resource extraction. It's like sending rival teams to dig for treasure with no referee, no clear rules, and a prize that could change the world's economy. Everyone's hoping for peace, but history shows us what happens when valuable land or resources are up for grabs. Competition heats up, and conflicts can follow. So as nations race to claim a piece of the moon, launching missions, and staking their interests, the real battle for lunar ownership might just be getting started. If history is any guide, the story of who owns the moon could get a lot more complicated and a lot more dramatic in the years to come.